Well, I've come into town this morning for a very good reason. Uh, I've come to buy something. Find myself a coffee first and uh, savour the coffee uh, of a local spot I'd like to come to just around the corner. It's a really lovely place. I I've brought you here before on a particular vlog or two. Uh, I'll leave a link above to one of them uh, where I did a little review of the place. It's a very nice coffee shop. This is a lovely little cut through with lots of uh, shops with fabrics uh, for sale. Lovely area to walk through. You can see many textile shops uh, selling, oh this one's called Fancy Fabric, selling uh, clothes but also materials to make your own. So what they have? Lang cafe, you can buy bird lau mei. Top mac. Talk up. Ow, jingle. Oh, okay. Um, ow, es lawn cap. Es lawn me me kua kem mei. Me mek kua kem mei. Okay. Our cup. Espresso long cup. Okay, the Pom Dubai Hong Nam cup. Cop my cup. Not in there. Hong Nam, you know. Toilet, wrong by. Wrong by. Wow, wow. Well. Where's the toilet? Amazing place. Just coming back here and I can see this amazing stuff up here. Look at this. Door cap, no. Hong Nam, you know, cap. Drong by the. You can bond, mate. Okay, cap. Cop my cap. Oh, cop my cap. Oh. So we've got the counter here and we've got the toilet here. Yes. Oh, that's a great relief. Wow. I was walking about. Wow. Oh. car. Song cafe to me? Okay. Uh, oh, okay, playing jai, nang lang lang ban cup. Okay, cup. I've been coming here for a number of years to Tamil coffee, and you come into the front, and there is a, a fabric shop, a, a dress shop, it's, you know, the traditional style of uh, long trousers or uh, lovely colourful tops. And you'd go upstairs and you'd have a coffee and it was a very nice relaxing atmosphere and creaky boards and overlooking the main road that we've come in from and the coffee, very, very good. Upstairs is now a restaurant and they've got a, um, a kitchen and they're cooking food up there and uh, there's tables, settings for uh, people to have their food. Many, many years ago, you know, I was working for a big company and I was a business systems analyst. We went on a course, as one does, and the assessment at that course 
uh, looked at how you were as an individual, how you worked, what your uh, minds, uh, how your mind worked. Facilitator was very astute. He actually analysed uh, how I work. I like to have more than one cupboard open at once. One door open here, one door open there. A project on the go. Another project on the go. Never satisfied to be do doing just one project. And in the middle of something, I'll think, oh, I must do that as well. And I'm never stopping. Well, I hope most people can take time to relax and just sit, breathe out, and just say, what a wonderful place I'm in. I just want to relax. I just want to de-stress and enjoy where I am. Enjoy everything about where I am. I hope most people can do that. I try, but I fail all the time. I fail miserably. It's not the coffee that's keeping me awake. It's my mind racing. And when I think about how easy it is for some people just to sit and relax and to nod off or just sit and relax and um, do nothing just enjoy being in the moment I really am very very envious Massage oils and these are massage creams. Okay, can I can I take one of each, please? One brownie, one brownie, one cookie, and uh, I'll take a a pot of those. I think the sleeping is better. I'll say like if you want to sleep, like maybe an hour before you want to sleep, or half an hour before you want to sleep. Two fifty. Well, I've had a very interesting visit to this wonderful place across the road here. It opened up a week ago Monday, so it's been open now for a week and a half. Well, I've come away with a couple of cookies and I'm going to uh, make a, an effort to see if I can sleep better. That's the reason I've come here, because I can't sleep sometimes and I just want to sleep. I actually want to have a happiness before I go to bed to know that I'm going to sleep. A satisfaction that I'm going to relax. They've been open now just over, I think it's 10 days. So they've got a, a lot of clientele in Chiang Mai that don't know they're there. It's a very interesting place. I was talking to Kunsop, the, uh, the guy that runs it there today. Uh, he's He's got over 40 strains of cannabis there and he's got cookies, gummy bears and also some oils and creams, massage oils and creams. Uh, it's a nice turned out place. They actually do a film night on a Wednesday, I think it is. Um, and 
you know, encourage people to come along and smoke in private. And maybe uh, just meet up with a few like-minded people and enjoy a good smoke. But I don't smoke, so I'm gonna take up eating and uh, see if I can relax after I've had a nice edible. Relaxing is so important to us because it enables us to reset. And if people like me uh, are unable to reset, uh, you become so busy in your mind that uh, maybe uh, you become uh, distracted, disorientated, and you're not focused on the real things that you should be focusing on. Now, what should I really be focusing on? Um, for the last six, eight months, I've been studying Thai. And since a month ago, I have stopped uh, going into classes because I wanted to take a step back. I try as much as possible to communicate in Thai as much as possible with Thai people. Um, I have realized that I want more. Last uh, Sunday, I met up with my teacher over at the Rocket Festival and we had a little chat and it reminded me of how fond I am, not just of her, but of the teaching that she was able to give me. Uh, how good in here she made me feel about how I was learning. I was doing an hour on a Tuesday and an hour on a Thursday and I was taking away so much information and doing the homework but unfortunately, I wasn't able to then enjoy the rest of the information that I'd been given. So therefore, I would learn the homework, I, you know, I'd do the homework and, and learn through that. But I had consumed so much in the classroom that I couldn't then continue to, to process that. I said something to her the other day, which was um, before I met her, I didn't have the confidence to speak uh, wrongly. And, you know, I try so often uh, to speak to people and I feel so bad that I couldn't actually pronounce things right. I didn't know the words. I didn't have the confidence to speak. But since meeting Clu June and going through the uh, course and you know, learning so much, I now have confidence to speak wrongly. Now, that might sound funny, but I have confidence to speak. Whether I get it right or wrong, to me, matters, but it doesn't really matter. I'm trying, and each time I try, I learn and learn and learn, and each time I get it wrong, I realize I got it wrong, and I learn from that, and that's so important to me. So, <laughs> I want to pick it up again, and I want to develop further. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna press pause on these videos, and I won't be uh, putting up another video on this channel for a little while. I'll still be doing my bird bath and also my bird table videos uh, daily as much as I can uh, to entertain the few people that are following those. But uh, the uh, Good Life Chiang Mai uh, Thailand, uh, this channel, uh, I'll put on pause for a little bit and uh, during that hiatus I'm going to learn Thai a bit more. So um, thanks for joining me on my many videos recently and I hope you enjoy um, looking at them. In retrospect, I hope you can see that I've tried to improve uh, the amount of tie that I've put into them. Anyway, take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.